Hello and welcome to Toys Review Toys. Today we're going to be playing with this fun Kelly Sweetsville Donut Shop. This set is super cool and comes with lots of different sweet treats and the things you need to make them. But the coolest thing about this set is probably the sweet shop itself. This set is equipped with a donut conveyor belt, which then leads to the donut delivery system that takes the donuts down to the cash register. The donuts get onto the conveyor belt through a slot in the back of the sweet shop. Just place the donuts in a special drawer. When we slide the drawer back into place, the donuts go right into the conveyor belt. Once the donuts are on the conveyor belt, press the mixer down to start moving them along. The pink and purple donuts on the machine will actually spin while you're running the conveyor belt. When the donuts go into the yellow compartment on the end, you can stop the conveyor belt. The donuts will drop down into a holding spot, ready for order. All you have to do to get them to come out is press the cash register. Let's see that again. Mmm, five delicious donuts! Once the donuts have been picked up, all you have to do is flip the switch to reset the machine. Now let's help the frozen kids make some donuts of their own. Looks like they're all ready to cook with a spatula, a spoon, and a whisk, all included in this set. Plus, Krista has this fun donut employee hat. Now let's go ahead and make some donuts! Yum, that looks good enough to eat. Let's run it through the donut machine. Now it's Alex's turn. Let's make him a donut with blue icing. Ta-da, conveyor belt time. Here it goes through the machine. And here it comes. And if anything goes wrong, Chris can fix it by climbing up the ladder. Whew. That was a lot of work. It's time to relax in these matching donut parlor chairs. They even have sprinkles like real donuts. Now if you want to eat more than just the donuts we made, we have three different kinds that come with the set. We can have plain donuts, strawberry frosting donuts, or a whole plate of chocolate covered donuts. And to go with them, we can have a strawberry shake or a mug of hot chocolate. And if nothing else appeals, you can just have ice cream. Wow, that's a lot of treats. Let's take them to go. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe. And in the comments section, tell us your favorite kind of donut. Hey, click on a picture to watch another fun video, or test your luck by clicking on the box to watch a surprise video. Have a great day. Welcome to Toys Review Toys, filling in for Disney Car Toys. Today we have Elsa and Anna sitting on top of the Kid Craft Pink Kitchen playset. Now they're sitting on top of the stove top between the burners, which is not recommended for little kids to do. But today we're going to go through the kitchen and find surprise toys. Our first surprise toy we're going to find in the oven on the top rack. And it's, oh, a Halloween Jake from Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Now who should I give this first surprise to? Anna or Elsa? And I'm going to give it to Anna because the package is orange and her hair is, well, reddish orange. Now the next toy is a Shopkins Blind Basket Surprise. Okay, let's open this up and find out what we have. This packaging can be kind of tough to open sometimes, especially if you're trying to save the packaging. I haven't found out a great way to do it yet, so I just rip it open and uh, I save the basket, but everything else I just throw away. Actually, let me know in the comments if you know of a better way to preserve that nice packaging. Okay, let's see what's in the first package. And it's a, ooh, a poly polish. This is an ultra rare Shopkins. You can tell that it's ultra rare because it has a lot more sparkles on it. And since we've already given Anna a package, let's give Elsa these two Shopkins. There you go. Now for the second Shopkins. And this one is a blue cheese. Not to be confused with the actual blue cheese that we usually put on salads. Actually, this guy's name is Cheesy. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's also give this Shopkins to Elsa. There you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Now let's move on to the third surprise toy. Let's look in the fridge. I'm sure there's something in there. All right, on the top shelf. And we have a Barbie outfit, which looks like an outfit for painting. And I think it comes with a palette and a brush. Now who should we give this to? Meeny, meeny, miny, uh, Elsa. There you go. Alright, you can try that on later. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a second surprise toy in the fridge. Yep, there it is. And it looks like another Barbie outfit. This is a lifeguard. It comes with the hat, the whistle, and the safety buoy. 
Okay, this is a pretty easy decision. Since Elsa already got a Barbie outfit, we should give this one to Anna. The next surprise toy is found in the cupboard below the sink. And we have a Disney car toy. Very cool. Louis LaRue. I believe this is a French car in Disney Cars 2. And this toy should go to... Well, let's give it to Anna. I think she likes traveling a little bit more than Elsa. And the last surprise toy is... Ooh, a hex bug. These things are great. They move exactly as a bug would, and you can use them to scare people. Okay, since Anna already has new presents, we should give this to Elsa. There you go, scare your kids Alex and Felicia with it. Okay, these are all the surprise gifts. Now let's open them up. And we're first going to start out by having them change into their new outfits. Well, that was fast. Here's Elsa dressed up as a painter, and Anna dressed up as a lifeguard. Now let's open up the hex bug. These are pretty simple. Just pull it out from the tube, and they pretty much fall into your hand. And all you have to do is turn it upside down and flip the switch, and they start to vibrate and move. Louis LaRue is next. Or it might be Louis LaRue. I like the shape of this car. Now it's got a French beret on its head, and if you look closely, next to its passenger side tire, it has a paintbrush and a little flower. Now the last one to open up is Jake from Jake and the Neverland Pirates. And this is another one of those situations where we just have to rip open the box. Save nothing but the toy. This little toy playset comes with Jake, an action figure, who's dressed up as a werewolf. And it also comes with this hollow jack-o'-lantern. Opens and closes there. I almost feel like we should put something in there. How about a poly polish? Yeah, throw her in there. Now she's nice and safe. And the last part of this toy is a pile of gold. Here you go, Elsa. You earned about 150 gold doubloons. Wow, we opened up six awesome surprises. From the painter's outfit to the hex bugs, the shopkins, the lifeguard outfit, Jake and the Neverland Pirates, and a Disney car. Let me know in the comments who you think got the best gifts, Elsa or Anna. Hey, thanks for watching Toys Review Toys. Don't forget to like this video and click on top to subscribe. And then click on a picture to watch another fun video. Hello and welcome to Toys Review Toys! Today we're playing with Ariel's Undersea Castle from Play-Doh! This set includes sparkly Play-Doh in three different colors! You can mix and match between this set and other sets, and you can even switch the skirts between the different Disney princesses! Here's the back of the box so you can see what the castle looks like with all the Play-Doh on it! This set allows you to design Ariel's gown, decorate the castle, and use the wheels to roll and cut! All right, let's get this out and play. Here are all the pieces that come with this set. Of course, there's a little mermaid figurine. Look at that fun green dress. On the bottom, Ariel has a mermaid tail. The mermaid tail is actually detachable in case you wanted to have her have just a Play-Doh skirt, or you can build the Play-Doh skirt around the mermaid tail. Now, speaking of skirts, let's make Ariel a skirt for her dress. First, we'll roll out this green Play-Doh plus Play-Doh. Make sure it's nice and even and flat. Next, we're going to take this chariot and create a pattern on top of the Play-Doh. And then we'll also cut out the sides with the wheels. Now, let's take this nice flat piece and turn it into a skirt for Ariel by wrapping it all the way around her existing skirt and attaching it in the back. That pattern will go straight through the middle. Doesn't that look nice? That's a good start, but now let's add a few more decorations. Let's load our Play-Doh into this tube with a long flat nozzle on there, and that'll get us a little bit of trim for her dress. Push that out. There it comes. The shape of the nozzle actually makes the Play-Doh curve, which is perfect for a dress trim. Now let's add that sparkly pink trim to our dress, and voila! Now we'll switch the nozzle to the circular one, and we'll make some more decorations for her dress. Now let's make some flowers to go on her dress. We'll twist this snake into a cinnamon roll shape and stick it on her dress just like that right in the front. Look how cute, it's just like a little flower. Now let's add a couple more. 